this one's about some ideas on running a clinical practice. So I always ask clients to keep a food journal for a few days before they come. Not only what you eat, but sometimes when you eat is good. When I see someone, you know, eating their main meal at midnight and wondering why they can't sleep and have digestive problems, that could be a problem. I also ask people to bring in any drugs, herbs, or vitamins that they're using. I don't need to see their oregano or their weed, but you know what I mean. Things that acupuncturists, chiropractors, NDs, MDs have recommended. I want to see all that. I also welcome them to bring in a list of questions. It's also great, I used to just say this to women, but to men too, please don't wear fingernail polish because I really like to look at people's hands and the health of our nails can tell us a lot of things. So I usually welcome people with a cup of tea and I always keep a record of what I recommended to them. Maybe you said one drop and they thought you said a dropper full or vice versa. Maybe you said like one grain of bee pollen and they thought you meant one teaspoon of bee pollen. So keep a record for yourself. I always ask people to let me know how it works for them, but uh, keeping track. I also encourage people not to um, wear makeup because that could really change the way that you see them. So again, a little makeup might not be a big deal, but we want to be able to um, look at people. I always ensure people are going to have a confidentiality that I'm not going to talk about them to their you know, friends that I know or housemates. So those are just a few ideas on running a clinical practice. All the best.